Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. Today I will try to describe how we can able to create Web of Science Researcher ID or profile with the Web of Science or you can save the Publons ID. Earlier it was with Publon, now it is completely with Web of Science. You can see uh, the URL now it has been changed and uh, as you can see over here this is my web of science uh, you know researcher id or this is the id you can see so this is uh, the record the publication record and even you can explore the peer review detail also and this is the matrices so similarly how you can able to generate your you know uh, web of science researcher id or profile with web of science so for that you need to register with web of science so how you can do it what I'll do for this demonstration, I'll be using another, you know, um, you can say my email ID. And with that, I will try to create uh, a new uh, Web of Science Researcher ID so that you can able to understand how you can able to register. So for a new researcher, they want to have an ID with them. They have, let's say, published few of the paper which are indexed in Web of Science, uh, you know, index journal. And uh, they want to create their uh, researcher ID. So how you can do it? So you can uh, register here, like you can click on this. So it will um, basically, um, if you want to give a you know free search also uh, with Google, you can able to find it out. Web of Science, you know, uh, researcher ID, how you can able to create. Uh, but uh, I will keep this web link in the description section so that you can you know uh, directly you can um, click on that and you can uh, uh, you know able to register in this particular. Um, website so let's start so for this what I'll be doing is I'll be using an email ID which I'm I've not yet you know uh, used uh, for creation of this particular you know web of science researcher ID so I'll be using this email ID then what you have to do is you have to set a password This is as simple as creating any you know social account so you need to put your name let's say i'll use this one then okay uh, so it says that a registration confirmation mail has been sent to that particular you know uh, email with which i have uh, tried to create or try to register so what we'll do is we'll go back to this particular email id uh, which you have given and uh, see you have received an email on uh, to verify your email address so what you have to do you, you need to verify it once you do that it will uh, it will tell you that it it has successfully activated your account and now you can sign in so you can click over here also and you can uh, close that other link so now as you can see it is taking you to the sign in page with that particular email id with which you have you know registered and now um, you can sign in so once you sign in um, uh, that is where you need to you know uh, you can say update your publication detail and other sort of thing so just wait for a couple of you know see, as you can see over here uh, it is like uh, kind of uh, importing uh, publication uh, details from web of science because you have used your name and with that uh, it will try to fetch uh, the you know publication record and it will give you uh, like kind of sort of idea whether all the publication of uh, what is being shown is you yours or not so what you have to do is it is also telling you because it is uh, a kind of a newly you know um, redesigned or you can say uh, modified you know platform with web of science so they have given a sort of tour uh, to to guide you uh, where you know, can find the uh, different uh, menu and other sort of detail so now what it is telling you that they have found 76 publication that they are thinking that you have wrote them so you have to verify them if if you see um, all of these publication let's say all of them are mine so here also author name also can cross verify this is not mine so okay fine you can see the other also so what i can do is uh, i will select the author name because i know with this name i have published so what i will do i will click on this uh, because only one i have removed so now it is 75 and what i will do here as you can so, see 
that there is a submit option so you have to click on the submit once you do that what it will do is now you see it has uh, created you know so it has uh, created your account but it is giving you a hint that there is already you know existing account with uh, with that name and it is giving you that preview which i have already shown you but uh, for that you have already just now created to assess that one you can click on my researcher profile so once you click on that profile now you see the new account has been created and this is the you know uh, uh, we can say the researcher uh, id or web of science researcher id so this is this this one is actually the id so wherever it is uh, like uh, necessary you can use that one so now that 75 publication whichever i have selected uh, from the core of uh, web of science collection so this is now so now over here and even here you can see the total detail so the review another thing as i have not yet you know um, verified so it is not showing over here but as i have shown you my profile which uh, I've been, you know, adding them in the peer review and uh, uh, that being verified by Web of Science, so that are being shown over there. So these matrices will be generated even you can up update your, uh, you know, profile photo, or other thing, and your affiliation also as I've shown you. So this is how you can create uh, your account. So uh, this is there, and, and there is another thing like um, once you have created your account and what you need to do is you need to like let's say you are applying for a job or you need to create your cv based on web of science uh, you know record so what easily you know you can able to uh, download the cv in the pdf format you see over here uh, right hand side apply for a job for funding and you need to uh, have your profile cv so you click on that select the range you know let's say 2017 onwards the you know the publication has been generated then the format is pdf even here there is another format then here you can select all the detail whatever detail even you can link your orchid id i have not yet done it so you can do that so there will be integration and you know uh, updation of uh, your record from orchid as well then uh, all this thing you can select peer review detail you want to show in your review editorial information and if you click on uh, this then what it will do just let's see now it is showing that a cv was uh, generated and emailed to you so let's go back whether we have received any mail or not there is a welcome mail just wait for for some time yes you see now we have received a mail and a pdf also you can see the preview or even i can download and i can show you how it will look like so this is how you know the publin cv will look like all the detail like publication impact and uh, uh, the publication summary then with uh, which it has been indexed everything will be shown over here because it is not yet uh, you know updated so basically it is indexed in web of science but it is not showing but so now now i think you got the point what i exactly wanted to tell you so all the indexing with uh, you know uh, against your publication will be shown it is very you know nicely you know designs which uh, uh, you can generate from web of science so this is uh, how you can do it and uh, also let's say you have you know uh, let's say you have a duplicate account and you want to merge with your uh, primary account so what you can do you can apply to delete you, this particular account because this i have just now created and I, I do not want to keep it and i have already account so i want to delete it so how you can do it so what you can do is you can go against your name as you can see here click on that then go to settings so now click on account settings and you see here that is where you can connect you know more option is there you can connect uh, if you want to connect it and you want to delete it because uh, this is uh, kind of a duplicate account so select on that and if you click on this you can delete this particular account because i have created for this demonstration so i can go for delete account so you, once you do that 
what will happen is oh, as you have a uh, you know account with web of science with let's say another email id there you will get information that uh, you know a duplicate account has been created and that being you know uh, requested for deletion sort of thing and can you uh, will you like to merge that two account so it is up to you you can uh, merge it even there will be no duplication in the publication but uh, the email id will be shown over uh, against in that particular you know uh, profile as well so all the email id let's say you have two three email id and that you want to show against that particular uh, you know profile so that can be done so this is how you can create your web of science uh, researcher id or you can set the profile and you can you know download your cv so thank you again thank you for watching this particular video please do like subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and stay tuned so i'll be coming with uh, more you know similar videos where you can able to get sort of information related to indexing publication and you know selection of your journal all sort of thing thank you again thank you